Today we have Cassie Murphy here and she's going to tell us about her current career pathway as a funeral director. So Cassie, tell us a bit about yourself, your age, what school you went to and where you grew up. Hello guys, my name is Cassie. I am 23 years old. I grew up in the Hutt Valley and I went to school at Chilton St. James and then I went to Hutt Valley High School for my last year. And did you know what you wanted to do when you were at school? I had a few ideas. I kind of jumped between wanting to be a police officer, a nurse, a funeral director. Um, I grew up around the funeral industry. My dad is a funeral director and an embalmer here at Jan Hickton as well. So that was always kind of a keen interest for me, but it was never really something that I was, I guess, set on doing. I had a few different ideas, but then after school, that's where it ended up. So. And tell us about your life after school. What did you get up to? So yeah, I started here five years ago when I finished school in 2015. I came in and started helping out in the office, doing some administration work. Um, and that's when I kind of really got a keen, I guess, interest in embalming. And so I was always down helping the embalmers out and things like that while I was doing my admin work. And then after that, I went into an embalming role before starting funeral director. So what do you do for work now exactly? I am a funeral director. I am also a qualified embalmer, so I definitely do help out the embalming team when they need it, but mainly I am a funeral director. Were there any uh, training involved uh, or are you currently training for this job? And who did you train through? So there is training. Um, I trained through Welltech and that's where I got my qualifications as an embalmer. There is also a qualification in funeral directing, so they're both diplomas, um, which were previously always run through Welltech and just last year they've decided to change providers and things so at the moment we don't have a course um, that's set but after once the courses are set then I will definitely go on to do my funeral directing training after that wherever it may be. Cool um, now just out of interest why did you choose this career path? As I said, I did grow up around it. So my dad was always at the funeral home and I was, I'd was i always pop in and help him out or wait with him while he was doing a bit of paperwork and things. So it was always just something that I was used to. And, and so my dad really inspired me with the amount of work he did in our community and the amount of families and things he helped throughout one of the toughest periods in their lives. And that was the main interest that got me into the funeral industry was being able to help our community. Nice. And uh, what do you enjoy most about your role? What I enjoy most would definitely be the people. Um, we work with some amazing people here at Jan Hickton. We have amazing, an amazing team, but our community is just great. And being able to help them in their toughest time, as I said, and just meeting new people and things like that. And what do you find most challenging about your role? The most challenging thing about the funeral industry would be probably our hours. Obviously, we run a 24-7 business, so it is all on-call work. Um, I'm not a lot of people work on-call rosters and after hours and things, but for us, it is literally 24-7. If someone passes away in the middle of the night, then we go out in the middle of the night and things. So I guess it's a wee bit different to rostered work and shift work and things because we work our normal day shift and then would come in after hours and things to do any necessary work. So that definitely can be a challenge and it can be tiring, although I think we're well looked after if we do go over our hours and things like that. So it kind of works out. And what is something that you find fun or interesting in your role? Fun or interesting? A lot of it, it's kind of a funny thing to say that the funeral industry can be fun um, <laughs> or interesting, but there's definitely things about it that are and I am super interested in embalming and the biology and chemistry and the things that we do. The spontaneity of our work is quite interesting and just different and I really enjoyed that about it. I mean you never know what your day is going to look like and you know we could be here looking after a funeral in the chapel or we could be out with families at their houses or going to different areas, different rest homes and things. So I just like the fact that you don't know and every day is different. Cool. So do you have any goals for the future? Yeah, I do. So I guess long term, I would love to run a team of New Zealand's best funeral professionals and just be able to support our community the way that we do. Obviously, there's a lot of ongoing training and things that I'd like to do and just better myself and be the best that I can be in order to serve the community the best way we can. Nice. Uh, is there anything you wish you'd been taught at school that would help you in the position you're in today? I guess with funerals, it's kind of a strange thing that you can't really be taught at school and it's a bit of a, 
um, specific thing, but I guess community outreach and just how important our community is to us would be good. And I think it would be nice to be able to get out in the community a bit more and help people at school. Yeah. Last question, if you could pass on one piece of advice to students in their last year of school, what would it be? Um, my one piece of advice would be to do what makes you happy. Um, there's that saying that says if you do what you love, then you never work a day in your life. And that's definitely true with the funeral industry. We're in such a privileged position to be caring for our families the way we do. And I definitely do love it. Um, as I said earlier, I went through a few different options of police or nursing and things like that. And I think that's the same. They're serving the community and helping people. So but just getting that right fit for you and the funeral industry is definitely that for me. So, yeah, just make sure you're doing what makes you happy. Try out a few different things if that's what you need to do, but yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Cassie, for taking the time today to tell us about your current career path as a funeral director and good luck for the future. Thank you. See you later.